Hi guys! Today we're going to see how to create a bookable product or service with our Yeet Booking and Appointment for WooCommerce plugin. With this plugin, you can offer items for rent with a daily, weekly or monthly booking option like houses, apartments, bikes, sports equipment. You can also offer services or appointments with a daily, per hour or per minute booking option like for example medical appointments, private lessons, personal trainer. Before we get into it, let me remind you of course to like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell down below so that you know every time we have a new video for you. Now let's get to it. Okay, so we're in my dashboard and the first thing we have to do is activate the plugin. So let's go to plugins, install plugins. I have already installed it and I'm going to search for my Yeet booking and appointment for WooCommerce plugin right here. Activate. There. So the plugin is active now. Let's create the first bookable product. We're going to create a bookable apartment like the ones published on Airbnb, okay? Let's go to products, add new. I'm going to name this product house and I'm going to scroll down and add an image right here. This one. Let's add a short description. And I'm also going to add a couple of images right here to the product gallery so the customer gets an idea of what the apartment looks like. Now, in the product data tab, we're going to expand this menu right here and select bookable product. The virtual feature is already selected by default and we're going to leave it as it is because we're not going to sell a physical product that has to be shipped we're going to rent an apartment, okay? Then in the booking settings section, we can set a booking duration. So customers can book units off one day. That sounds about right. Because we're going to give our customers the option to book the apartment for one day, just as they do in Airbnb, okay? Under default start date in booking form, the default option is none, but I'm going to set this to first available. So if the apartment is booked for today, our customers are going to see tomorrow as default date to book the apartment. So basically that's the first available date. Next, I'm going to enable the full day booking option. What does this mean? That if our customer leaves the apartment on day three, for example, another guest can book the apartment from day four. This option is useful to have the apartment cleaned in between guests or simply to give us time to get the apartment ready for the next guest. Now let's move on to the booking costs. Here we can set the base price for each bookable unit, which in this case is one day. I'm going to set this at $50. And here's an option to multiply that by the number of people. For example, let's say that I have a single booking for three guests. If this option is disabled, the three guests are just going to pay a total of $50. But if I enable this option, as there are three guests, they're going to pay a total of $150 because it would be $50 each. Then in discounts, we can set a weekly discount, a monthly discount or a last minute discount. And for extra costs, as the name says, an extra cost would be added to the booking like taxes or a fixed fee. We're just going to leave these options empty. Then we're going to move on to the booking availability. Here we can set the default availability for this apartment, okay? By default, all of the days are bookable. So the customers can choose any day to book that apartment. We can change this to not bookable or we can leave this as it is and add options for specific days. So for example, in our case, we want to make Sundays not bookable because we want to have the apartment free on Sundays. So let's do this by clicking here, Sunday and non bookable. So all days will be bookable except for Sunday, which is not bookable. In the following section, booking terms, we can set the maximum bookings per unit to one. 
because we have only one apartment and we want guests to book the apartment one at a time. This means that if a guest books the apartment for today, another guest won't be able to book the same apartment for the same day. Then we have the booking people section. Here we can enable the people options to set a minimum or a maximum number of people that can be included in the booking. Let's enable this. Minimum number of people one, of course, and maximum number of people, I'm going to set this to four because in this apartment, we only have two beds. So we want to avoid getting a booking of, let's say seven guests because there would be no room for seven guests. Okay, now let's publish this product as it is. Publish. Let's see that product now. Okay, so here's the product, the title, the price, which is $50 per day, the short description we added. We can click here to see the images, one, two, and three. Now, let me show you something. You see that I added a total of three images. This display right here can be changed thanks to Proteo, which is our free theme for WooCommerce. Let's click here on customize. Here we can configure anything that has to do with the theme. So let's go to WooCommerce, bookable products, and we'll find this option, okay? Images to show as grid. It says one now, let's change that to two. Right, so that's what happens. We get two images. Let's change it to three. Great. So now I can see on my product page, these three images instead of just one, which was what I was seeing first. Let's just change it back to two. Okay. There. Publish. Okay. This does look a lot better. Now I have my two images. I can click here to see more. Now. We need to add a booking form right here to the right of this short description. So it's adding it to the sidebar of the product page. Let's go over to the dashboard. Appearance, widgets. And let's select the shop sidebar. And I'm going to add the bookable product form. Update. Let's go back to the product page and I'm going to refresh. Here it is, my bookable product form. If I click here, I can see that Sundays are not bookable. Let's go over to December. Sundays are not bookable, okay? I cannot click here as a customer. I cannot select this day. If I try to add seven people, I'm going to get an error here. It is going to state below that the maximum amount of people is four. If I change it to three, I can book this apartment, okay? We can customize this booking form in the plugins booking form section. Let's go over there. ETH booking. Here you're going to find all of the plugins journal settings. In this first tab, under all bookings, we're going to find all of the bookings. So when a guest books the apartment, we will see that booking listed here, okay? In the calendar tab, we will be able to see all of the bookings in the calendar, in this calendar. It's useful because the bookings will be organized here according to their dates. And in all bookings, create booking, we can even create a booking from our dashboard. We can even select the user to assign it to, which bookable products he's going to get and whether or not to create a new order or assign it to a specific order. If we move on to settings, we'll find five sub tabs, okay? We'll find journal settings where we'll have options like the suggested team, which is our Proteo team. We can set which categories to show in the third forms. Reject a pending confirmation booking after a specific time, set pay bookings to completed, and add the Google Maps API key. Then, under booking forms, we're going to find the options for that booking form we added before to that bookable apartment we created, like this. 
calendar style, show as drop down or show in line in the page. Let's change that to show in line in the page. Save, back to the side, refresh. There, so now the calendar is visible. I do not have to click anywhere to open it. Back to the dashboard. I'm going to leave it as it was before, show us drop down, save. So here you can find a lot of options to configure the booking form, okay? Then we can move on to calendars. Here we're going to find options related to the plugins calendar, to external calendars, and to Google Calendar. Then we'll move on to card and orders. Here we're going to find all of the options for the card and checkout pages. Then under customizations, we're going to find options like choosing the date picker format. I have this one selected by default, but I'm going to change it to this. Save. Let's see that on the side. There. So now it's month, day, year. Let's just leave it like this, back to the dashboard. Let's check out the configuration tab. Here you're going to find all the sub tabs. In the availability rules sub tab, we're going to be able to create advanced availability rules for a specific or generic dates like this. You can name the rule, you can select either generic dates or specific dates, and you can set options like bookable or not bookable for those dates, okay? The same goes for price rules, okay? We could click on create rule, we can name the rule, select conditions from a number of options, custom date range, range of months, of days, people count, duration unit, time range. Then we can create services here, people types, costs, and then assign those to the products. Then we have the tools tab. Here we're going to find the tools and logs sub tabs. We have the integrations tab and we have the help tab where you're going to find video tutorials like this one, the plugins documentation and frequent ask questions. Now that we know what we can find in the plugins dashboard, we're going to create a cost. So let's go over to configuration costs. We'll name this new cost cleaning. Cleaning would be an extra cost for us, okay? Okay, so now here's our new extra cost added. We're going to go back to our products edit page and under this product data tab, booking costs, I'm going to scroll down to extra costs and here's the new extra cost we created, cleaning. Let's set the cost to $10. We have the option here to multiply by the number of people. So if I have three guests, it's not going to be just $10 total for the cleaning extra cost. It's going to be 30 because it would be 10 for each one of those guests. And I can also multiply this price by duration. So if they stay two days, it's not going to be just 10. It's going to be $20 for this cost because it's two days. I'm not going to choose any of those options. I'm just going to update. Let's go back to the product page and refresh. Okay, so here's my extra cost cleaning. It's 10 and it is automatically added here to the total, okay? You see here we have the price to pay for a day, the extra cost right here, and then the total. Now let's create a service. Let's go back and I'm going to go over to Yeet Booking. Configuration services. We're going to name this new service breakfast. We could add a description here if we wanted to. We're not going to do this right now, but maybe in the future we want to add something to mention what comes in the breakfast. The price is going to be five. We do have to set a price for this service right here in the plugins dashboard. Now, the service is not the same as the cost. So we're going to make this service optional, okay? by clicking here, set as optional. Some may not want to pay five extra dollars for this service. And let's also multiply this by the number of people, okay? So it's five extra dollars per customer, per guest. Add new booking service. 
So here's our new booking service. Now let's go back to the products edit page and I'm going to select booking services. Here we can enter the services that we want to add to this bookable product, okay? If I click here, I'm going to see the only service that I have created so far, which is the breakfast service. I'm going to click here, update, back to the product page, refresh. So now I have the service added here with a checkbox, so I can choose whether I want to add the service or not, like this. And if I hover over this question mark, I'm going to see the price for this service, which is $5. You can see here that the cleaning cost is added automatically because it is mandatory, but the breakfast is offered as an optional service, so customers can decide whether they want to pay for it or not. Now, here we have the add to cart button right here. Even though we're not actually adding a product to the cart, we're booking an apartment for a day. So let's change this label right here. Let's go to the dashboard to Eid Booking, Settings, Customizations. We're going to scroll down to Labels. And here's the Add to Cart label. As you can see here, it says that you can choose the text of the Add to Cart label for bookable products. We're going to change this label to book it now, save, back to the side, refresh, there. So there is my new label, book it now. This is much better. Now let's book this product. Let's say that I'm a customer and I want to book this for today's for two people. And I'm going to add breakfast. We have $50 per day for two days. We have the services for two people and we have the cleaning. This is the total. I'm going to click here on book it now. View card. So after clicking on book it now, I'm directed to the card where I can see all of the information provided before, the dates, the duration, the people, and the services chosen. In case you want customers to skip this card page and go straight to the checkout page, you can do this. Go over to the dashboard to Eid, Booking, Settings, Customizations, and here's the option to redirect users to checkout. We're going to enable this, save options, back to the product page, and we're going to choose that again. Book it now, there, and now I'm automatically directed to the checkout page. We're going to add all of the information here, and after I'm done, I'm going to click on place order. So once I go through the checkout process, I'm going to get directed to this thank you page with the information of the bookable product that I have just booked. We're also going to receive an email to the email address that we provided when booking. Let's see that email. So this is my new booking email. Great news, your booking number 1206 has been created and it's now unpaid. So it says the status. I have the booking ID number, the order, the product. If I click here, I will be directed to the bookable product page, the duration, the dates that we selected, the additional services and the people. Now, as an admin, we're going to see this new booking in the dashboard. Let's go over there. Dashboard all bookings. There. So now I am seeing that new booking. And if I go over to the calendar, I'm also going to see it right here. I booked two days. So as you can see, our Eid booking an appointment for WooCommerce plugin is one of the best plugins you'll find to add bookable products to your site. What are you waiting for to get it? Okay guys, so that's how you can create a bookable product or service with our plugin. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and we'll meet again for our next video.